How about the dramatic entrance, folks? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Look at this thing. Not your normal GTA, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Celebrity Cars. Yes, 1987 GTA. <clears throat> I would like to first say, very clear, this is not a stock automobile. Although appearing, it's not full on stock. There's been a lot of motor work done. Um, Quincy, while you start to walk around the car and do a full circle around it, if you could, please. Um, we've got this really awesome file folder loaded with all the stuff that's been done to this vehicle, including uh, uh, I found a bunch of Napa Auto Parts receipts, um, TPI parts from F-Body Performance, Flowmaster, um, a 58 millimeter throttle body from Robbie Customs, Summit Performance, Taylor, B&M, Comp Cams. There's just a, that's just a few, few <laughs> a few of the things that's been done to this vehicle. Now look, I, I will first off say that I am not the mechanic of the showroom. Um, I'm a Firebird lover, of course. Uh, for any of you who have watched the videos from before, my name's Scott. I'm your living, breathing condition report. That means I go over paint and rock chips and scrapes and rust and dents and dings and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, engine size. I'm not going to get into uh, how many owners, uh, Carfax and all that stuff. You're going to find all of that at CelebrityCars.com. We can walk around this again, Quincy, because I know people that are really into this vehicle are, are really are, aren't going to get enough of it. Uh, it really is that spectacular. Let me close this garage door while I go on. Um, folks, this is the most popular color combination in one of these GTAs by far. A couple really quick facts about it. Number one is it's not stock. It doesn't have the stock exhaust system on it. And when you see the engine compartment, you're gonna go, well, that's not stock. But apparently uh, they used the original motor to this car to do all the upgrades. And all the upgrades, well, the only way I can determine really what all the upgrades have done is when you hit the gas pedal. And it goes a lot faster than a stock 1987 um, 350 TPI, period. Uh, it is an automatic transmission. It's not a manual transmission. A couple parts have been replaced on this car. If you'll notice, these wheels are 17 inch wheels. They are not the 16 inch wheels that come with the car, although they look identical. And yes, this car comes with the original 16 inch wheels. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the center console that I'm just gonna show here real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bunch of facts out of the way before we start picking up. See that center console over there? Just take a look at it there, Quincy, real quick. That is not the original console to the car. Uh, check this out. I know this is a little weird. I'm doing all kinds of weird things today if you've always watched our videos, but this is the original console to this vehicle. And in here is the RPO and all the tags. Now, if you go to celebritycars.com, I was promised that there was a good photograph taken of that RPO sticker. Obviously, this does go with the car. This has not been removed and put on that one. Um, you know, this really wasn't necessary. You get to take the original center console home with you as well. So I'm gonna place this over here. It just so happened that, uh, you know, the center console, this one wasn't up to par to the guy who owned this before. So he wanted a, a better looking console. So that's what he's got. And it's, it's almost perfect in there. Um, folks, where to start on an awesome machine like this? Again, I'm your living, breathing condition report guy. There's a couple small flaws on this car. Uh, oh, oh, let's start off with this. The answer is a great big yes. Has this been painted? Certainly. I don't remember or, or know how long ago it was painted um, because it's been enjoyed a little bit, obviously, since it's been painted. But folks, you really are seeing <laughs> what this thing really looks like. Now, I will also say that it does need a, you know, three, four hundred dollar 
fancy guy with a wheel knows what he's doing on black paint buff. We haven't got a chance to do that yet. So this is pretty much the way the car came. And it's stunning. There's just a couple things, and that's why I'm here, to show you what's wrong, what's broken, what's got a small scratch, what's got a chip, and all that kind of stuff. So come on up here. Let's not delay. I need to grab this rag, because I don't want to touch black paint. I'm just going to give this a little psh. And uh, let's dissect this nose here. Now we got a couple fingerprints up here from opening and closing this sucker the last couple days. A little leftover dust. I wanted to go over it quick. You know what, Quincy? Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. I just I don't want to I don't want to get. Mm, how do I say this? See, I'm saying this on film in front of all of you folks. I don't want to get too picky. Reason being is because this car has been repainted. If you think that this black paint is not as good as the original paint, you're wrong. This is an amazing paint job. And again, it just needs a little extra care. But come on over here, let me show you some of the things that we don't like around here. One of them would be this small chip on this headlight cover. Okay, well, there's been some touch up paint put on it. It is what it is. That's where it is. There is just a few, you'll see a few little uh, normal driving. See, this is, this is tough. I should have gone over this first. Welcome to, to dusty Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this whole front end is covered with dust and I should have taken care of this first. Okay, anyway. Folks, like Quincy said behind the camera, except for just a little extra care and a really good buffer on this and unbelievable paint, you wouldn't believe how much this thing would, would shine up even more than it does. Um, so if you look uh, across the front here, like let me point a couple things out to you. So, uh, you know, Quincy uses his bionic focus there on his, uh, <laughs> on his camera. You see these little marks right here, um, folks, it, 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 if, you just grab a, a buffing wheel or a little bit of polish and that's gone. Um, the only things that won't disappear are a couple of these really light normal road wear marks. You know, you've got a couple here and here. Now look, I know you're seeing, you know, light, light, uh, light marks in the clear coat. That's, that's all it is. And you can't see that uh, unless, you know, you're sitting here dissecting it or you've got, you know, the magnifying glass camera that we've got going on. We've got brand new uh, fancy lights in here along with skylights and you're seeing the reflection off the paint uh, from both of these things and you, you, you cannot get any more exact, uh, any more detail in looking at the paint. Outside, you'd be blinded by the shininess of this and you, you wouldn't see any of these things out in the sun. But we bring our cars in here so you can really see in full detail of what's going on. So besides this little mark right here, down on the lower valence is about maybe seven itty bitty marks from normal road wear. You can see them here and here. There's three over here. They're super small, they're super light. Nothing like this one right here. Now what's good is this, you know, this is headlight cover. You can just paint the headlight cover and you're in good shape. Um, uh, it's not smack dab in the middle of the hood and the hood certainly doesn't need uh, you know, any paint or any sort of thing like that. Uh, the, uh, the front windshield, I've got a small mark in the front windshield right here. Do you have to replace the windshield? Heavens no. Uh, it's just a small mark in the windshield. Uh, this is a 1987 vehicle, so you're going to have a little bit of wear here and there, certainly on these things. Uh, your side mirror right here, just like the smallest, folks, the smallest of the little chips in it. Uh, a discussion while we were preparing to um, to photograph this was I wanted to make sure you all saw the lines of this automobile. Uh, we, we all know these cars, uh, they've been beaten to death for the most part, and this one obviously hasn't. Uh, you're about to see an undercarriage video, which uh, we only do on select cars here, at celebrity cars, so you're definitely going to see what's going on underneath it, and you're going to see how fantastic that is. But it's super straight. Everything is super straight on this car. 
There's not really anything that isn't. The hood doesn't not line up. None of the doors don't kind of line up. They all line up. Even the moldings, really something. These 17 inch wheels fit in here just unbelievably. This is extremely sexy vehicle. And once again, it doesn't sound like or run like a normal 350 two port injected motor. Okay, uh, the other incidentals I wanna show are uh, just kind of stupid things. Okay, this isn't so stupid, I never saw this. There's a, a, a chip on the top of this passenger window right here. But right here in the tint, the window tint is a small abrasion on the window tint right there as well. That this is what I'm referred to as dumb little things because window tint's easy to get replaced. I believe on the driver's side, uh, we have the same thing going on. <clears throat> uh, folks, the hood is unreal. Welcome to Las Vegas and all the dust. A couple of these things wipe away as I wipe, a couple of them don't. Just really small marks that boy really, really shouldn't bother anyone. Uh, the performance out of this car really makes up for, and especially, you know, somebody's gonna sit and dissect it. Uh, it's it's kind of, that's my job. Unfortunately, I have to do it in order to sell it. So I hope you appreciate all the detail. This, uh, this rear window here, if I look really closely uh, inside on the window tint, I can see a, a couple mild marks on the tint as well. But once again, easy enough to be replaced. This rear spoiler back here, uh, although uh, a little ripply, and apparently they're all a little ripply, uh, there's no cracks in this fiberglass. There's no uh, major scratches in it whatsoever. And uh, it's all, it's all in, in one super awesome piece dust every three seconds around here. Sorry, I, I, I gotta deal with this every day, especially on black cars, it bugs the crap out of me. Um, let's not skip over this back bumper. Uh, I, I know we, we kind of skipped over some body panels and stuff like that, but folks, there's really, there's really nothing to discuss. Uh, um, Quincy, come on over here on my right shoulder. I, I, I wanna, uh, can, you, can you do a, a down the car kind of thing with the reflections off the other cars? And then folks, I mean, that's all, there, there's no paint chips. There's no anything all the way down the passenger side. It's just beautiful paint. So Quincy, if you could just do that real quick and then we'll meet back here at the back bumper. I'll, I'll stay out of your way. It's important that you folks see how straight this car is and how nicely lined up it is. Um, this rear trunk, uh, you'll see this sticks out a little bit here and you'll see it sticks out a little bit on this side. It doesn't line up perfect. Um, and, and you know, that's a bummer, but uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, and but I know your main question is this. I'm gonna open up the trunk. You can hear that motor working right here. I guess while we're in the trunk here, we'll discuss this too, folks. This is uh, old school power amp. Powers the front. We left some cables in here so you can add a subwoofer in the back if you'd like. But this currently just powers the front speakers and the side speakers along the sides of the seat. You get plenty of music, it's plenty loud, but you'll be looking for a little bit more substantial bass. So uh, that will be up to you. But other than that, this is just incredible back here. The, uh, the plastic is in great shape. I see a small mark right here, but I'll bet you uh, I can get some stuff and spray it and make it disappear. The backs of the seats look terrific. There used to be an amp sitting here, I think, and it just, uh, in, a, in, a, in a couple weeks, this uh, carpet will work its way back out. Um, it's just kind of been smashed in there. But you can see how nice all these components are um, back here, all in nice shape. They're not all scratched up. You can see the black paint underneath, you know, original stickers back here, VIN numbers on them, uh, and all of this back here is just absolutely outstanding. Super nice clean carpet in the back. And uh, you know, this is, this is one of those nice ones, folks. Please look inside some of these gutters here in the back. You see they're all super nice and clean. This car has been extremely well cared for. And Quincy, if you could catch this and I'll move down so the microphone hears it. And there you go. So the rear hatch still works. And uh, that's always one of the first things to go. 
folks, this back bumper, um, you know, you pull up behind one of these things and normally you see, you know, bird crap and, and scratches and spider webs and all that kind of stuff just because they've just been around for so long. And uh, it's expensive to fix these cars up. It's expensive to paint one of these, especially bl uh, black. So keep that in mind. You don't have to do any painting. Uh, it's, it's a driver and you get to enjoy it. So those couple little marks up front that we discussed, I mean, I, you, you know, pretty much live with them. Uh, bugs, you, bugs you that much, you get a hail, headlight, uh, you get a headlight polished or uh, repainted. Uh, anyway, okay, coming back over here on this side, we've got some real nice light. Um, the wheels, I, don't, I didn't need to discuss curb rash on wheels because these wheels are kind of sort of brand new and they're in absolutely amazing shape and there's really not a whole lot to discuss except aren't they so hot. <laughs> uh, all of this paint, all of this, uh, all of this paint is in, uh, in uh oh, I see fingerprints again, Quincy. Jeez, can't get away from the fingerprints or the dust. Um, all of this paint over here is flawless, all the way down both sides, like I said earlier. Everything lines up perfect. This door closes super nice, both sides. This mirror here is the exact same condition, if not a little bit better than the passenger side. There's no chips or scratches in it, or there's barely any. GTA emblem, it's beautiful. All down in here, and your front fender, and your front wheel, obviously no curb rash here. The stance in this automobile is absolutely beautiful. Uh, get one more from, you know, back here up on top, Quincy, all the, all, all the reflections. You got the Chevelle over there that's up on the lift. It's, uh, it's pretty close to a mirror. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. Uh, Quincy, do you mind walking in the front of the car? I know one of the biggest other things are the headlights. And uh, you certainly don't want to buy one of these for the kind of money that we're asking and have to do all the simple little stupid stuff. So if you could listen and see that these lights work absolutely perfect. Okay. You want to look at the engine first, or the interior first? All right, folks. Now, in the beginning of the video, if you missed it and fast forward, uh, go back and you can see all the companies that had a part of, uh, or all, all the uh, different companies' parts that have been used to build this ride. Not your normal tuned port injection. And uh, again, uh, I, you know, I kick myself all the time for not going to tech school when I was a kid and learning how to take one of these apart and put them back together again. So I really don't know all the things I should be sharing with you uh, about this motor, but I'm asking Quincy once again, every once in a while, I really ask him to get into nitty gritty and look in here at a couple of these added extra components. Uh, it looks like we've got a brand new alternator sitting in here. Um, the black paint in here is in half decent shape, obviously. It is uh, original to the car. They didn't repaint anything in here. Um, I do have a, a photograph of this engine out of the car sitting on an engine stand when it was rebuilt. That's about all I really have. I'm not sure if that picture will get to uh, you know, the guys here to go up online. So if you're paying attention to this video enough and you really like to see this engine out of the car, I do have a photograph of that. Uh, I'll, I'll try and get it on on uh, the interweb here so you guys can see it. Um, but uh, folks, it's just it's super nice and clean in here. It's not perfect, but it certainly looks a heck of a lot better than most um, late 80s F bodies. You can see uh, all the bolts all the way down both sides, how clean it is in here and how the paint job got all the way around the corner. And a um, little bit of dust left over. We've had this car for about a month took it to a car show or two. And uh, so it got, it got a little, little dusty on me here, but other than that, it still really looks terrific. So hopefully you understand and can see some of these components that were added that I mentioned earlier. We have a whole binder full of receipts for all the things that were done to this car. I just don't know the math and of uh, you know, how they were all uh, implemented and so on and so forth. So give us a call. We'll be happy to share with you a lot of that paperwork if, if it's not online already. 
Okay. Closes up real nice. Yeah, Quincy, if you could come over to a, you know, about here or so. Um, I'm gonna open up the trunk again just because the, in, the entire vehicle is so sharp with all of its doors open because of this really nice tan that obviously matches, you know, the Trans Am Eagle and all that kind of stuff. So I took a, I was cleaning this the other day. I was doing just little inside the door jams and stuff like that. <clears throat> because these were really, really scratched up getting in and out of the car. So I grabbed some polish and got the ball rolling so it didn't look so crappy getting in and out of the car. Again, they're not perfect still, but boy, the heck, they sure look a lot better. So while I was doing that, I took a photograph of everything all opened up. I had cleaning product laying all around. This is a very, very sharp picture. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm nerding out on this car. Come on in here. Please take a look at the door panels. Please take a look at the seats. Look at the carpet. You can see the aftermarket stereo system down there and there where your feet go next to the brake pedal. Um, but other than that, you pretty much have a stock appearing vehicle. Seats certainly look original to me. Have they been reupholstered? Jeez, they probably have to have been reupholstered because they feel so incredibly new and almost better than new. So. This is really fabulous stuff. I'm going to come back over there, Quincy, because I want to point out just a couple things. If you look down here, <clears throat> this sill, this sill's a pain in the ass, man. It just sticks out. It's really big. You know, 1987, I know this car's been painted, but still, uh, you know, it, it was painted a while ago. And climbing in and out of the car, your pant legs hit it, your shoes hit it, and you make marks on it. So I just wanted you to see that this is about the best it can get shined up to. The leftover marks are just where they are. And uh, you know, maybe a buffer down here will be able to pick up some of this stuff and clean it up. I just wanted to show you how nice it was. There's not a whole bunch of chicks and chips and chunks coming out of the, the side molding down here. Actually, there aren't any at all. This is completely smooth, except for a really little things that I can't even see standing here. Um, you look at all, please notice all the plastic. And again, these seats are they, they, they're so nice. Folks, I think I've said what I'm about to say about, I don't know, I've done about 350 cars, maybe maybe close to 400 cars. I don't know if I've ever said, must see to believe. I don't think I've ever said that. Please come see it in person. I mean, come see this thing. It's really, really something. Uh, yeah, I mean, a couple edges, a couple little things I missed in cleaning and all. There's a little bit of dust down here in this little crease. Um, you know, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of dust from it and stuff like that. Uh, I tried to get as much of it as I can, but just again, the, all these components. Did you get this bolt down here, Quincy? I just want you to, this has been a West Coast car, folks, that didn't rust like all the East Coast ones. And it's just an insane condition. So I just wanted you to, you know, make sure you saw all these things. You know, the little dirt underneath the, uh, uh, the floor mat, but I, I, uh, but I just, Boy, I, I wish I could take half of this apart to show you how well done this is and what great shape it's still in. The steering wheel is in perfect shape. The steering column seems to be in perfect shape. There's a little speck of something on top of the steering column right here. That'll come off. I just got to get a cleaner. Um, all the gauges look terrific. If, if you turn the lights on, um, you know, you see the dashboard lights up just fine. Everything's nice and bright. Here's your volume. Turn it back. Oh. That makes the light go off, how about that? Or the, the dinger go off. Uh, I believe all the gauges work good. We'll double check them when we go for a cruise in a little while. Yeah, there's an after old school aftermarket Alpine system in here. Uh, this stuff was installed probably in the early 90s and here you are, it's still in here. It still sounds good. We'll, put, we'll turn it on a little bit when we start it. The entire dash pad up top is in beautiful shape. The rear view mirror is in perfect shape. If you look up at the headliner, it's like a black suede that was installed and it is absolutely beautiful. This is all black suede up here. It's uh, definitely not stock and feels great. Your, your visors, they have been and redone and all this black suede as well. Uh, mirror's good. These aren't getting ready to fall off and they're in excellent shape. These things always get go to pot as well. This whole center console or center, yeah, center roof console, if you will, Lights on nice and bright. 
Uh, got a little smelly thing up here I meant to grab, uh, but you can put sunglasses up here. And uh, man, I, I, I don't, this is a, a mileage counter and, and, uh, and, and, and I'll, I'm not even sure what the heck all this is, but it's, my point is, is that it's in really, really nice shape. Here's a little spotlight. Never saw that before. <laughs> uh, the center console, well, it was replaced. If you missed that part of the video, make sure you go back to it when I'm walking around with the center console. This is not the original console that went with the car, but I totally understand why it was replaced because this one is beautiful. Simple as that. Parking brake's in good shape. Beautiful center console. Little door here. Little door seems to work just fine. Oh, this is important to a lot of you. There you go. So it's a little loose, but it's in there and it's good. It's not coming apart. Okay. Um, your air conditioning, all that stuff. We'll, we'll test all that in a little bit. I was told it works just fine. Your interior floor lights are doing their job. The rear seats. Look at this color contrast. And that black uh, suede goes down both sidewalls here too. Wow. It's really, really pretty in here. Yeah, I don't know if you get a whole lot better interior. I, I guess one, a car with 54 miles on it, sure. But man, this is just insane. It's absolutely smoking in here. Oh, I'm gonna come over there real quick. I, I did uh, attempt to shine up these sills as well. And I think I did a pretty good job. Because to be honest with you, they were kind of they were kind of banged up as well. So I got the polish out and the wax, and I got a clay bar out, and I shine these all up as best as I could. Uh, just a hair fading, but man, nobody's going to kick this car out of bed because of this. This is uh, I know this is in much better shape than most cars that you find. Uh, again, unless you have a 56 mile or 100 mile sitting at home, which uh, well I have seen. But look at this. There's no black marks. There's no holes in the carpet. It's just awesome. Okay, well, I guess the next thing that we're gonna go do, because we looked in the trunk and we looked at the motor, I've already showed you that this battery or the uh, electronic uh, trunk closed back here. Does its job, there it goes. Got a good look at the door panels. Again, if you haven't seen them, go to celebritycars.com to see all the photographs of this car that were taken just a couple of minutes ago before we got our hands on it. Well, the next thing that we're gonna do is go for a quick ride around the, actually, no, uh, probably you're gonna see the undercarriage video of this next. And then we're gonna go for a quick ride around the block. Uh, we're gonna make sure it does all the things. That, ooh, you know what? No, we're not. I'm gonna start it again. If you are really interested in purchasing this vehicle and you're still watching me right now, I know you're probably going, start it again. I've been listening to your babble for the last 30 minutes. Let's hear what it sounds like for real. It always starts right up. It's got an incredible growl to it. And again, I don't know what all those extras did to the engine compartment, but I do know that this is a heck of a lot faster than the, what, 200 and 25 horsepower that it came with or something like that. We're going to go for a ride. We'll be right back. 1987 GTA, folks. We're starting off in the showroom today. Again, you know, cars that I'm deeply in love with, I spent a little extra time with. Starts right up every time. Oil pressure works good. The temperature gauge works good. The voltage regulator works good. I'm in reverse right now, pulling out of the showroom. I'm hovering around uh, 800 RPM with my foot on the brake as we back out. Now we didn't talk miles on this car. Let's talk miles real quick. The miles on the odometer in here say 78,253. Now I've been told that they're the original miles to the car. I've been told that the motor that's in here only has about 7,000 miles on it. 
believe it, don't believe it. Uh, that's what I've been told. Uh, it's what we're sticking with because it all pretty much makes sense. Okay, I'm back into neutral. Folks, yep, we're inside the 1987 GTA and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm still contemplating on selling two of my vehicles or one of my vehicles to buy this one because it's just so awesome. Everywhere this car goes, I've seen it go to our local car shows, the, everybody stops. Everybody stops what they're doing to watch this car roll in. Um, you know, there aren't, there, there aren't any others that looked anything like it around uh, Las Vegas for sure. Um, I'm uh, hovering around uh, 750 to 800 RPM. Um, gave it a little gas one more time, done that a couple times. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on here real quick. I felt the air compressor go on. Uh, I'm gonna crank it up. Right now it is warm. I don't know when the last time this air conditioner was been run, but uh, oh, I do have it on hot. I'm sorry. Thank you. Holy crap! Did that get cold fast? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The air conditioner works great. Take my foot off the gas pedal. I'm still hovering around 800 RPM at a stop. I'll put my foot on the brake. I'm gonna put it down into drive. My RPM, yep, down to about 700. Uh, no stalling. Air conditioners going at full blast. I'm going to turn the air conditioner off. Obviously, we have heat. We felt that already. Uh, his then wife, actress Valerie Bertinelli, had their son. Plenty of sound in here. Once again, you'll be looking for that subwoofer at some point. Uh, I'm not going to put my seatbelt on. I am in, uh, in gear. I'm in overdrive right now. I'm not going to play with any shifting. There's no reason for that. Uh, my driver's side window operates just fine. My passenger side window you just have to trust me, it goes up and down just fine. And my side mirrors over here moves around just fine. And the passenger mirror does all the things it's supposed to do. Folks, it's very difficult to find an automobile, an 87 uh, Trans Am, Pontiac, Chevy, whatever, that uh, still has all these things that function. This car's been well taken care of and all these things have been fixed. I, I kind of collect some of the same kinds of cars, and man, I just want everything to work, and so did this guy. Here we go. Wow. Waste no time getting up to speed. Just your foot on the, on the gas pedal. Okay, I'm doing about 45 brakes, three, two, one. Okay, I got on the brakes pretty darn good. Um, didn't stop immediately. My tires didn't lock up, uh, but I just got in this. It's the first time I've used the brakes, and I'm pretty sure if I did a U-turn and went back, I'd just stop a lot quicker. It just is what it is, and the um, car's not really warmed up yet. Now, as I drive it around a little bit because of the vibration of the motor and so on and so forth, you do hear a couple little rattles in here. It's not awful, because look at what you're in. But every once in a while, you'll hear a couple of these plastic pieces vibrating together. It's all very normal. Speed bump number one. Speed bump number two. Oh, boy, you put your foot on the gas pedal, this thing really wants to go. Speed bump number two. And again, you'll hear body panels doing their thing, uh, just like any one of these um, third generation Firebirds. You're gonna hear the body components and stuff like that, but boy, it is not bad at all. This is a really crappy road we're about to shoot down, so you're gonna hear it get a little noisy in here, but it's really just fine. I hear a little bit of air getting in from, uh, sounds like the passenger side window. Is your door closed all the way? Is there? Okay. Yeah, in, in just a moment. Yeah, go ahead and show them. Okay, so a little bit of air getting in here. Uh, I would kind of sort of hope that you wouldn't drive this car in the, in the, uh, in the rain. So you should be in good shape. Doing this little small cul-de-sac here. 
I'm just going to shut up for a minute. Yeah, the brakes are much more awake at the moment. My turn say no. My left turn say no. Yep. It's on and flashing. We're doing good. Nice turn signal, buddy. Okay. Back on the gas. Wow, this thing wants to go. Yeah, um, so once again, you know, we're not talking 400, 500 horsepower here or anything like that. We're talking, you know, probably around a good, a real good 300, maybe just a little over 300 more horsepower or 300 horsepower out of this thing. I'm guessing, but I'm pretty sure you'd feel the same way uh, once you drove it. We'll, we'll check it out one more time here. We'll do a little extra with our driving video. Got my right turn signal on now. Right turn signal works good. Now, um, you know, I'm not afraid to play with this car just a little bit extra because, because I can. So while you're along for the ride, we'll just play here for just a second. Lots of engine modifications. We don't know what all has been done, so. Okay, well, I lost the whole ass end of the car there just by, I did not use a brake pedal at all. Folks, this, yeah, we're, we're talking an easy, uh, an easy 300, maybe a little bit more horsepower and change on this vehicle. So that's a heck of a lot more than what it came with, as far as I'm concerned. So you uh, car, you know, you aftermarket gurus, you, you saw what was going on in, in the front here. Uh, the, the folder with all the receipts in it, of course, will go along with the vehicle. Uh, you can give us a call at 702-818-1031. We'd be happy to show you some of these receipts. And, um, you know, so you can decipher a little bit more if this is the one that you're looking for or not. But man, folks, this is, this is just the prettiest darn thing. And it runs and drives great. My temperature is in a perfect spot. Um, my, my speedometer works fine. The RPMs work fine. And uh, boy, it, it all seems to work. So I don't know what else to say, except give us a call. We, uh, we're happy to talk to you, uh, pre-purchase pre inspections, whatever you need. Uh, but if you didn't see it yet, make sure you, you see the undercarriage video of this car. That's about it, 702-818-1031. We'll see you next time, thanks.